I'm going to create a, a short video here to help out one of our YouTube subscribers. Um, basically, the comment from our YouTube subscriber is around the files that are collected through the Foresight Sports software, FSX 2020. Um, the shot data, how you capture the shot data, the club analysis onto um, Excel files or CSV files, um, PDFs, and where those files get stored. And uh, also uh, in that same comment from the same user is where, why can't the data or the video files be captured on the FSX live portal? So his data, when he's using his, in his case, a GC2, um, his data isn't going live to the um, live portal. It's um, just disappearing on him. And to my best guess is he's not logged into the FSX live account inside the software. So we'll walk through that uh, second, because um, once I log out and log in, I'm gonna lose all the data. But what I've done right now is I've hit six very quick shots so that we have something in our table so we can export our shot and our club data onto the CSV files and uh, walk everyone through where to find them on your Windows computer. And then from there, we'll take a look at uh, logging in to make sure that everybody's logged in inside the FSX 2020 software to ensure your video analysis um, and all your shot uh, club data, ball data is going to the live portal. So first off, I'm going to sit down at the computer and uh, get rid of our picture and picture screen. And we're going to go right into the club analysis table. And uh, obviously we have our ball data. These are a few shots that I hit prior to the video. Our club data and our table. So our table is basically the information that's going to get uh, synced or uploaded into a CSV file. And how do you get it into that file? Well, you have to go up to the top right-hand corner. Once you've hit a few shots and you've captured them on your table, you go up to export. Once you get into export, you can choose whether you want a basic fitting data, advanced fitting data, or advanced instructional data. And um, really the difference is, is, is what... Um, pieces of your data are going to be shown in your file. So it's going to be very minimal amount of data points captured or it's going to give you the long laundry list of every of uh, all of your analysis from ball or club uh, if you have uh, HMT or GC quad etc that's going to capture the uh, club data as well as the ball data. So we'll have a quick look and I'm going to choose advanced fitting data just for the purpose of this video. Um, you can choose to email it to yourself if you have a printer hooked up, you can hit it, hit print, print it to a hard copy. Um, we can save it to a file and the report date is gonna come up here. And in my case, uh, the date isn't very accurate, but if we wanted to, we could change to today's date, which is January the 23rd, 2021. Put the correct date in and um, choose if we wanna go to a PDF or if we wanna go to a CSV file. And this is the human friendly versus the numeric. So. I'm gonna choose the CSV file, and once I've captured all the data in here, all the settings, I'm just gonna hit export, and it's very quick. It's gonna go straight to export and be done. And where do we find that data? So right off, let's take a look at our Windows computer. So where are we gonna find that data? It's under my PC, inside the documents folder. So click inside the documents folder, and you're gonna to go to FSX, click on the FSX and inside reports, and here's that CSV file. So if we click and open up the CSV file, and I got a couple monitors going here, so we're gonna drag it across. Basically, this is what, uh, what happened with the shots that we just hit prior to the video, and the data that's captured inside the CSV file. So hopefully that helps everyone, if anyone's looking for these particular files and where they get stored, and I have everything set on the default settings. So again, it's inside uh, my PC, the documents folder, FSX, and then under reports. So we're just gonna minimize that for a second and we can do the same thing. We can go to uh, advanced instruction data and if you guys have a, a Foresight's product, uh, I'll let you guys go through them and walk through. The basic fitting data is just gonna reduce the amount of um, data points that's captured or we can uh, export to PDF. So I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll go to advanced fitting data, or heck, let's collect the instructional data for today. And we'll go to a PDF, and we're gonna hit export. Export's completed. We'll open back up our file, 
And here's the newest one that we just uh, created. And again, same thing, we're in the documents folder under FSX, under reports. Open up that PDF. I'm gonna run over to my other monitor here. Drag that over. Let's zoom out a little bit. So CSV file, or you can go and export all your data right to a PDF. Um, personally, I prefer the PDFs. It's not like I'm changing any of the data on the CSV files inside of Excel, but uh, your choice depends on uh, what your flavor is. So there's a, a good idea of where those files are captured. We also have a compare option inside the software where you can compare, and in this case, I hit a lob wedge and a gap wedge, and uh, I was hitting these shots barefoot, so I don't mind the data, but uh, we can take these particular files as well if we wanted to look at this, if we had a bunch of clubs compared, or if you went through your entire iron bag and you uh, were doing a gapping session, we would have our lob wedge and our sound wedge and our gap wedge and so on, all the way up to your longest iron. And we can change the colors, but if you cared to um, print that out so that you can see your gapping numbers and your total carry distances, uh, we, again, we can either go in the corner here and hit print, print to hard copy, or save to PDF. I'll leave the, the standard default um, description and I'm just going to hit OK. It's exported that and we'll open up our file folder, the same place where the rest of the folders were. And in this case, it's right here, today's date. Open it up, drag over um, our PDF, and zoom out so everybody can see. And there's the file that we were just looking at inside the FSX software. So there's the, the six shots that I hit and just giving us the average and comparing the two clubs side by side. So this works really good if you're comparing drivers or if you're gonna compare one wedge versus another. In the case of my example here, I use two totally different wedges. So it'd be more um, an example of gapping between one wedge and the other. Uh, even though I went from a lob to a gap, that's just an example scenario. So now we know where to find those files. We're going to exit out of um, out of our My Documents folder. And the other part of the comment from our YouTube subscriber is, why aren't my video analysis shots, screenshots being uploaded to the live portal along with all my shot data? And my best guess is, is in the corner, you're not signed into your FSX Live account. So in the top left corner, if it just says generic by default player one or player two, that means you're not signed into the, your Live account. So all your data will not be uploaded to the portal. How do we log into our FSX Live inside the software? Go over to the settings um, under player. It's gonna show us right here and I'm logged in. It says connect to FSX Live and it's highlighted with a blue dot, very similar to the dot when your uh, quad or your launch monitor is, um, is activated as well. So to walk through that, let's just exit our player for now. We're gonna add a player, exit my, my account. So typically if you're not logged in, it's gonna say player one, and you'll see the chain link. We're gonna click on the chain link, and it's gonna take us to uh, a sign-in page. Enter the sign-in page with your live account, your password. And as you can see in the top left, because I'm not signed in, it's gonna say player one, and then just hit sign in. Communicating with the server. Now that it's communicated and logged in with the server, it no longer says player one, it's my user account. And from here, all of our shot data, all of our video um, analysis from the software itself are all gonna be captured on the live portal. Just clicking on uh, off screen here, we're going to click on uh, the live portal. For some reason, it does take a little bit long to um, to open the actual web page on the live portal, but mine is opened up right inside the portal. I'm going to go to my stats and inside my stats, we should see today's date. The 23rd, where I hit those six shots we were talking about, I used my lob wedge, my uh, gap wedge. It's telling me because I'm still signed in and I'm still in the driving range itself um, that it's in progress. I can click that um, 
those six shots that uh, session, I guess is what we'll call it. I can see my six shots, my two clubs, my max distance, and it'll show me that I was hitting a wedge, my 50 degree gap wedge, and my 58 degree lob wedge. And inside here, we'll be able to go straight to the video tab, and everything is automatically uploaded. So no special settings. You don't need to turn anything special on. What you need to do is you need to log into your FSX Live account um, inside of your software when you're hitting your golf shots. And if you do that and you're connected to the internet, all of your data will be uploaded to your live portal for you to review at any time. So I hope this helps. This should answer all the questions that our YouTube sub subscriber had. And uh, I hope this solves his problems. And uh, again, if any of you out there have watched this entire video, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, please, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Definitely it helps me out and um, gives me a little more uh, energy to want to create these videos and help others uh, that are running into some issues with any of the products that I have here in my simulator bay. Thanks a lot for watching.